The next pitch from One Visage is uh, someone who's come all the way from Lausanne. And I'm uh, very excited to learn more about the identification solution based on 3D facial recognition that you have developed. Please welcome Christophe Remier here on stage. Thank you for being with us. And I'm getting you the clicker, which I have COVID conform made sure that it's completely safe. Okay, thank you. <laughs> the stage is yours. <coughs> so thank you very much. Uh, hi, everybody. My name is uh, Christophe Remier, the founder and CEO of uh, One Visage. So today, um, I will introduce you, give you a word about the, what is considered the most uh, important challenge of uh, our 21st century, digital identity theft. Um, the thing is, nowadays, how can I verify if it is really you who is making a payment of 100 euro? How can I verify who is, if it is really you who is accessing this building? How can I verify if it is really you who is, say, driving that car, etc., etc.? The thing is, the current solutions that we have to verify if it is, if it is uh, us today, passwords, pin codes, one-time passwords, or a couple of biometry, back to art figures. You can see, like me, here, we are talking currently about 10 billion US dollars net losses per day. I'm repeating this, per day, right? By 2025, if we don't stop this, we will talk about more than 22 billion uh, US dollars net losses per day. So, Let's call it current solutions don't work anymore. Stop. End of the story. Right? So, the mission of One Visage, and uh, here we are here to completely disrupt the market. And this is a new market, by the way, for us. It's all about delivering, providing what we call transversal, strong customer authentication technologies and white label solutions we are addressing to integrators, I mean software, hardware integrators, but also service providers like identity uh, and uh, access management providers to help them totally eliminating digital identity theft. So how do we do that? What is our magic recipe? In fact, we are and we've changed uh, say, the authentication paradigm model by modifying four criteria. Criteria number one is all the solutions, products we are proposing are based on a visual slash transparent, transparent experience only. So we completely removed passwords, PIN codes, OTPs from the equation. Second criteria is to uh, increase the level, global level of security, right? And to bring at least bank grade security levels to all the solutions we are providing. And we even claim that we can provide military grade or even exceed military grade security levels with all our solutions or a combination of our solutions. Third criteria, it's about data privacy and protection, which is a major huge concern nowadays, everywhere. Even in China, you will be very surprised. So here, all our solutions are designed in a way where we give back a total control of their biometric authentication data to end users, employees. So we do not need any centralized database. We do not need any biometric authentication computing into the cloud. So me, I keep right, a total control over my biometric data, authentication data on my smartphone, my tablet, my laptop, my SIM card, my boarding passes, which is printed right on a sheet of paper, whatever. And the fourth criteria is about transversality. And this is this new concept also we are introducing. Uh, we have to tackle that challenge at the root level. So it means we need to provide solutions for all verticals, 
financial services, healthcare, government, transportation, automotive, etc. We need to be able to provide these solutions on all platforms, Windows, Android, iOS, uh, uh, Linux, potentially web browsers when applicable, and nearly all hardware. It can be, again, my smartphone, my laptop, uh, a payment terminal, an electronic kiosk, etc. So concretely, we do provide a product line which is made of, uh, first, a series of software development kits that brings, respectively, the three uh, needed factors, right, to perform a strong authentication. First factor is to prove, um, say, to, to bring what I have, so typically, so to identify a device, to identify your smartphone, your mobile wallet, uh, your electronic badge, this kind of thing. The second uh, toolkit is to answer the question who you are in terms of, so to bring a biometric modality. And here we are effectively bringing 3D facial biometry of the shelf on all platforms. And the third uh, component toolkit is 3D graphical authentication. We keep here, uh, it is still based on something that you know, and here it is called 3D graphical authentication. So we eliminate passwords, pin codes, and instead of typing something, the user will simply select uh, one or few secret objects in a 3D, uh, 3D world being displayed on your smartphone or web browser, and these secret objects will be defined properly by the user at enrollment. So thanks to these three, uh, I would say, uh, pillars in terms of authentication technologies, then it starts to be, uh, I would say, uh, say uh, a play, uh, well, a game for kids at some point because we can start assemble Lego bricks and combine these technologies together to bring two factors, three factors, four factors, etc. So here we've got two leading, uh, I would say, OEM solutions. Uh, that are ready or that uh, is, says, a job for integrators. The first one, Premier Kiosk, is for um, uh, giving you two-factor authentication solution for uh, so physical access or payment, and the second one, Premier Logon, for uh, logical accesses. So I will speed up. Um, so we do provide different licensing models that fits with the different use cases of our customers. So again, integrators or service providers. Uh, our competitors, I have to say, we've got less and less competitors. <laughs> uh, but the, the main ones are typically, uh, well, the main one for us is Idemia, which is still on our radar, but we, uh, this is where we are. Important now is business cases. We are now at a stage where we are very close to going to production with respectively Orange Business Services and Worldline, right, to address uh, 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 payment and physical and logical accesses. Uh, we are, for the moment, experiencing a growth rate of exceeding 270% uh, per year. And lastly, I would like to uh, conclude with this. So we are looking for Swiss European investors uh, who are uh, say tech savvy in order for us now to speed up and finalize, uh, enter the scale-up phase with a two million fundraising. So thank you very much. Thank you. So I'm um, just going to double check if any last minute question came in for you. And there is one. Um, which clients do you target? OK, so here we are mainly targeting what we call tier one or tier two uh, integrators, mm -hmm. hardware software integrators. So uh, previously, I mentioned as an example, uh, Orange Business Services. So all these big, say, international integrators who are taking our technology, integrating it into a final product solution and delivering it to a bank, an insurance, uh, an automotive uh, car manufacturer, etc., etc. And I guess a current challenge is face masks which you know, I, every one of us experiences with our mobile phones probably multiple times a day. Um, do you have any, any great ideas on how to get around that? 
Well, good news. It's, uh, <laughs> so currently, uh, based on the tests uh, we made, uh, by the way, last year with uh, uh, so, um, a partner, so I can quote them, uh, it's uh, IDIAP in Martigny. Mm. Um, so we had the chance to stress our technology, uh, with, uh, particularly with silicon mask, like in Mission Impossible, if you have seen the movie. Yes. <laughs> right? <laughs> And, uh, well, uh, in fact, uh, we realize that we are, for the moment, 100% resilient to that kind of mask attacks. And the short answer, technology-wise, is simply, it is due, we are Swiss, right? It is due to the accuracy, right, of the 3D uh, biometry, uh, or 3D biometric technology. So if I were to put on a mask that would so look like you, I have chance. no chance. No chance. Okay, and, uh, and we know it. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, and a face mask, however, with COVID nineteen, that still remains. That I still need to take off. If uh, I want to authenticate myself, yes, yes. I cannot do that no, while wearing a mask. No. Well, we well on our side, our position is uh, we we hope that uh, surgical mask won't be needed, uh, say in six or twelve months time frame. So hopefully, and then we'll. It, it, should, it won't be anyway a blocking issue even for our customers right now. Yeah. Very wonderful. Thank you. COVID safety first Thank you. for now. <laughs> and um, you are still going to be there in the breakout room. So anybody who does want to invest and want to learn more else about the investment details of that will be able to do that right after. Yeah. And we've sure. got live demos. So thank you. <laughs>